Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bob Shemia, Oshai, Bob Shemia, Kalkwadash, the bounce of the apostles, elders, the great millstone. The citation of brothers was pushing to the word and truth and sincerity with charity and risking the lives and freedom to do so. This is your brother Yanagai coming from the great millstones, Cal Camp, coming at you with another lesson. You know what's edifying. All right, um, fearing the Lord, man. All right, we are all to fear the Lord. It's very beneficial for us to fear the Lord. These people out here in this world, there's no fear of the Lord in this place at all. That's why they, they niggas walk around um, unwise, un uh, foolish, and just with their head up the ass. You know, the um, matter of fact, there's Proverbs. One and seven. It says, "The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction." All right. So if these foolish ass people out here don't have any wisdom and instruction, why? Because, hey man, they don't ultimately they don't fear the Lord. All right. And the beginning of knowledge is fearing the Lord, man. All right. But these people, they don't fear the Lord. They lean onto their own understanding. They, they um. As it says in scriptures, um, Proverbs 14 and 12, it says, uh, it seemeth right unto a man, but the ends of it are the ways of death. All right. So their way, they think their way is the right way when, no, nah, man, we're supposed to acknowledge the Lord in all our ways and he shall direct, direct our paths, man. All right. Matter of fact. Let me get that awesome Proverbs. It's locked in. You know? These people, this is... Jake don't do this, man. They actually do the opposite. This is Proverbs. 3 verse 5 it says trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him he shall direct thy path be not wise in thy own eyes fear the Lord and depart from evil alright there are people are, uh, they feed off evil man they don't fear the Lord at all man alright these people lean unto their own understandings they don't acknowledge the Lord. They don't consider the Lord. They have no fear. All right. They continue doing whatever the fuck they fl they to they want to do uh, to please their flesh, man. All right. Um. <laughs> but we are not to do so. This is Job twenty eight verse twenty eight says unto unto man he said behold the fear of the Lord. That is wisdom. It says, depart from evil is understanding. All right? Because if you truly fear the Lord, man, you start considering um, your next move, man. You, feel today, you make sure you, <laughs> you don't want to make the wrong move. All right? And you filter everything out through the scriptures. All right? Is um... There's another one. Proverbs fourteen twenty seven says, "The fear of the Lord is the fountain of life, to depart from the snares of death." All right. As it says in Ecclesiastes, and also um, the twelfth chapter, man. This is uh, the conclusion. Of, let us see the conclusion of the whole matter. All right, what's the whole duty of man? Hey, fear the Most High, man, and keep His commandments. If you fear the Most High, you you'll strive to, to keep His commandments. You're not gonna keep it perfectly, but because we in the flesh, but you strive to. Hey, these people out here, they don't strive. That's why the Scripture says that they uh uh honor them, with, honor Him with their lips, but their heart is far from them, from Him. All right, man, these people, they don't fear the Lord, man. Um, there's another one. Uh, 
Psalms 111 and 10 it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom a good understanding and all they that do his commandments his praise endureth forever all right all right so fear of the Lord is the beginning of, of, of wisdom man all right and we ought to uh, strive to keep his commandments all right that's what as he commanded us to do he, and Jake, what did he do? The complete opposite. This Psalm 25 and 14 says, The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he showeth them his covenant. All right? Amen. And who he reveals his secrets unto? His servants, the prophets. All right? Hey, hey uh, you truly move. Uh, uh, fear the Lord You know You start moving with fear As Noah did man and That's using wisdom Knowing that the Lord Is about to come Destroy this place Hey, hey Oh no Alright Now I start moving with fear man Alright hey, hey, Start uh, 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 Filtering everything Uh Uh you do with the scriptures, man. You don't just lean onto your own understanding. No, man. We move with fear. Move with wisdom. All right. My family ended off with that one. In the book of Hebrews. Um, 11. And 7. It says, by faith, Noah, being warned of the Most High of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he, he condemned the world and became higher of the righteousness, which is by faith. All right. He moved with fear. And that's how we are ought to move as well. Move with fear. All right. So, fear the Lord, man. All right. Extre extremely beneficial. All right. But, I'm going to let off with the Hebrews. So, no one's edifying lesson. Until next time. Shalom and a Baba Ball.